why did this $5.3 million system malfunction? What was the problem with it? All new at six, it's a great question and one a lot of Cobb County parents are asking right here right now. Millions of tax dollars spent for a school security system parents aren't sure is even operational and it is especially top of mind after the massacre in Texas. When you're taking a live look right now and you're thinking about what all of the ramifications are for that community that honors the 19 children and two teachers who were killed. As families reel from that tragedy, Caitlin Ross is taking Cobb County parents' questions about their district security system to Cobb leaders to get some answers. The parents say the system seems like a great idea in theory. Teachers wear a lanyard around their neck with a button that alerts if there's a problem and then shows exactly where that problem is so first responders can get there quickly. The problem here, though, is parents say teachers were never trained how to use it. Code red. Heather Tully Bauer's son was in second grade when the Cobb County School Board spent $5.3 million in 2017 to install what was supposed to be cutting edge technology to protect against active shooters. Total school lockdown. Save critical seconds in alerting the authorities to what the problem was and where it was happening. Like most parents, she says at the time, she felt like the alert point system's price tag was worth her kids' safety. The problem was is that that really critical piece of a badge with a button on it uh, was never fully realized. But she says teachers have told her they never got those safety badges to make the $5.3 million system work. And some say they were never trained on it. Then in February of 2021, the system was hacked, activating a code red alert in Cobb's 115 schools. Our teachers and our kids thought that they were in an active shooter situation, which is what a code red is, and f literally feared for their lives. Literally feared for their lives. At that moment, the school for sure knew that there was a problem with this alert point system. Bauer says she and other parents have been asking Cobb whether the system is even operational now or if there's a new system in place, but they couldn't get straight answers, so she reached out to us. I contacted the school district myself, asking specifically how long it used the alert point system, if they replaced it, and whether all teachers were trained on it. But the district wouldn't answer my questions either, only telling 11 Alive security would be discussed in depth at a future school board meeting. As a mom, I'm horrified. I'm horrified to know that they knew that there was a system that they touted as doing everything they could to keep our school community safe, knowing it wasn't living up to its promise. The district did not give us a specific date for when this will come up at the next board meeting, but we plan to be at each and every one until we can get answers to your questions about school safety.